Okay. John Horrigan back with Polly Stivaletta from the Whitman Armory. The next matchup is a 178-pound novice matchup between John Delgado in the red corner, and in the blue corner, it will be Brian Gates, Polly. These guys now are stepping up a buck 78. They, they look like pretty good boys, a lot bigger than the last bout, and we're gonna see some real bomb throwing here. Paul Wedge. Okay, first, from the red corner, John Delgado, he's wearing the red trunks and a white shirt, boxing out of the red corner. From the blue corner is Brian Gates. Brian Gates out of Norwood, Mass. Delgado from New Bedford. This is the fourth match here on ABT's Fight Night. Amateur Boxing Television. Pete McGowan now working the camera. So we're getting around three two-minute rounds. Paul Wedge is the official. The judges, Leo Gerstel, Billy Conley, and the referee, Wedge, will also call it. We're underway here in the opening round. Delgado in the red trunks, and he takes a quick right hand from Gates. Gates going to town. Oh, my. Gates really busy right off the bat. Yeah, got him a nice little right hand there to shook him up there. And a little barrage after that. He went down on one knee, but it was not a knockdown. Gates from our country, uh, Polly Norwood, just next door. Oh, is that right? Delgado now trying to get away from Gates' fury. Look at this. This is just a barroom brawl. They're going to take stools and hit each other as Wedge goes down, the official. The referee is down, and somebody's got to count. Man, look at Gates go to town. It's drop him and go. Gates trying to work over Delgado. This is just a free-for-all. It is Bedlam here in the opening round. Gates. One, two, combination, right hand, left hand. Now Gates staggered. Gates misses there, and Delgado counter punches. Oh, we've got a war here in the first round. Oh, rock and roll, baby. Gates in the black now took a, a right hand from Delgado. Now he backs Delgado up. Delgado trying to counter punch his way, Polly. What a war. Yeah, this is a real slugfest here. Not too much uh, showing of any ability, but a street fight. But uh, Gates is really putting the pressure on a real tough kid to me. Just needs to learn a lot more about boxing, that's all. And you saw him go right in front of our cameraman, Peter McGowan. Delgado wearing the UCLA top, Gates the USA headgear, and now Delgado with a solid left hand. Oh, my, he shook him. Yep, uh, yeah, Gates has seemed to have slowed down because of all the puns he's been throwing, and uh, I think the... Uh, is... Paul, you don't want to mix it up with a southpaw. No, you don't want to. You know, you got, you got to watch him, that's all. Make sure you land and land solid. Some of Gates' uh, punches are, are coming from Abington. That's how far he's winding up. That's right. He's uh, too winding up too much. Uh, and that's and now as you see, he's tying out right now. He's, he's just pooping he, up. He's left, leaving himself wide open, Paul. And there, Delgado's starting to pick him apart. That's where the left-handed advantage comes into play. End of round one. Oh, my. A war. The NEABF on ABT. What are you scoring that one, Polly? Well, I, I, I give it to uh, the guy in the red corner. Delgado. Again, the scoring here is a 20 point. 20 points goes to the winner of each round, 19 or less to the loser. Again, we'd like to thank the New England Amateur Boxing Federation, Bill Conley, the vice president, for helping us out here. We've got a nice house here at the Whitman Armory. People still filing in. So we're going to go with Delgado here in that opening round of the novice class, 178-pound uh, class. Paul, yeah, you, have you seen the first ones? You know, we saw the, the younger guys go at it. Then we saw some uh, more inexperienced boxers. This is the first time we've seen solid punches connect. Oh, definitely. You know, as you see the young kids, you know, they're, they're just learning and uh, don't have the weight and the compaction to throw some good punches. Now as they get heavier, they've been around a little longer, and they know how to put some punches together. Delgado in the red corner as we get ready for round two. Gates in the blue corner. Gates looked like he was out of gas. I think they just had a fill-up. Yeah, I guess he did. This is going to show it now. This is where they're going to let it all hang out, and uh, we're going to see who the winner is in just a few seconds. Yeah, G Gates was throwing long-range missiles at him to open up the fight. Then Delgado came back. We gave the round to Delgado. Round two underway. Gates in the black shirt. Delgado in the white. Now they go at it again. Gates with a wild punch. He's staggered by a right-handed lead by Delgado. Delgado picking him apart with a right jab. Now Delgado still stinging him with a right hand. Leading right in, Polly. Yes, leading right in. He's getting his punches off. But Gates is... Uh, Still a, a tough kid who's game to fight, and he wants to fight. Got hit an awful left hook there. He just got hit with a sledgehammer there. That was a home run punch as Delgado came with a big stick. Yeah, he got a good left hook he caught, yeah. It's a standing eight count. Eight count, yeah, taking eight count. He's not as hurt as he is. He's more tired than hurt. Yeah, G Gates is from Norwood. Delgado from New Bedford, round two. Delgado starting to dominate and pull away in this contest. 
Gaze the right-hander, Delgado the left-hander, although Delgado now starts to fight from the right side. Now Delgado catches with the right-hand cross. Oh, he staggered Gates. Gates is on Queer Street. He loses his mouthpiece. Yep, the, the, the Gates is uh, catching now. He's a little too tight. Delgado is landing some good punches. He's uh, keeping his form and composure a lot better than Gates. Yeah, he's an astronomer. He's seeing stars. Fight comes to the middle of the ring. Round two. Looks like he's not going to go go to the... The, the finish of this round, he's very tired, he's a little hurt. Matter of fact, he's catching too many right now, rights and lefts. Yeah, yeah, Gates is turtling now, he's hurt, he's hurt. They may stop this bout. Wedge is going to give him a, an eight count. No, that will do it, the fight has been stopped. It is a technical knockout uh, for uh, John Delgado from New Bedford in the 178 pound weight class here in the NEABF box offs on ABT. John Delgado TKO's Brian Gates of Norwood in the second round. Great battle, Paulie. You can see what condition means. As, uh, as, as the end there, you saw that the, uh, Gates got very tired and he couldn't put it together. He wasn't as hurt as he was. Uh, it looked with those punches. He was just exhausted. When you're exhausted, a slap in the face hurts. <laughs> yeah. I guess at, at, at this age in their career, at this level in their career, they're more concerned with beating the hell out of the other guy than opposed to boxing. Oh, definitely. They're just going in there. They're, there's only uh, two minute rounds, three rounds. So they're trying to get 10 rounds of boxing in, in three rounds. So they just let them all go. Hope something lands. Just Empty the tool shed on them. Yeah. So they're going to come to the center of the ring. The winner of the fight by technical knockout. At 138 of the second round, John Delgado of New Bedford in the 178 pound weight class, TKO's Brian Gates. Paulie, what amazed me about Delgado, he started out the fight fighting lefty, and then he changed up to the right handed style in the second round. Yeah. Well, he was trying to confuse his opponent when the opponent, he saw his opponent was getting tired and, and wobbly. He could do that, play them tricks, changing his hands around because when you're tired, you can't get your reflexes back. And, the, and he was confusing them. And it shows that the confusion uh, became the winner because Gates uh, couldn't handle it. Paulie, what?